What's up you guys? What's really really good? Welcome back to my Chanel. My name is Stacey Zapodaca. If you've never been here before, but if you have, hi girl. Okay, hoy amanecí estresada. <laughs> and one of my coping mechanisms, I guess, is to clean. I don't guess, I know. And hoy amanecí con ganas de tirar todo en mi casa. Todo en mi casa. Así de que cada esquinita que no he limpiado antes, every single thing I haven't cleaned before needs to be clean. I need to get rid of things that I haven't used or touched. I just need to declutter and I need to feel like nobody lives here. Like I genuinely love when it looks like architecture design is gonna walk in here and do a video of my house. I like it when it looks when nobody lives here, which is literally 0% of the time because as soon as I clean something, it's like already dirty as soon as I turn around. I have no idea how it happens. I don't even have children. Me estresa pensar que un día mis chamacos van a ser un cochinero aquí en la casa, pero es parte de la vida. I actually started cleaning earlier in the day and I wasn't gonna vlog this because I was like, no, como limpio, o sea, ya de estar hartas. I just clean every single week, like, me estresa. So I was like, no, no voy a, no voy a vloguear. Pero, I posted this story, and then I posted this story, and then I asked you guys, do you actually want to watch me clean? And you said yes. Even though I kind of already clean, like there is enough house and enough cochinero for me to start the vlog right now and still give you a cleaning vlog. My house is not even that big. How do I have that much, that many things to clean? I have no idea, but we do. I'm just one person in one three bedroom, one bathroom house. So there's still things to clean, believe it or not. Let's start with what's already done, which is the kitchen. The kitchen is always the first place that I tackle because I feel like it's like the most overwhelming sometimes. So I have to tell you guys this, there's a fault here. So here's my Nespresso, but this area, porque no tenemos ninguna mesita ni nada en la entrada donde poner las cosas, I'm always putting like my bags, Keys, everything that I carry like I jump it here and it usually looks messy which I don't like it so I have to do something about this I ended up cleaning this little like container which here we usually put our keys uh, and like our sunglasses it was full of like keys and like just random things that I didn't want so I cleared it up I ended up cleaning this I washed the dishes here's some beautiful flowers that my biscochito got me Thank you, Biscochito. I washed the dishes already. This was from when I made my coffee earlier on in the day. Quick story time, no me la van a creer. I'm actually gonna do some Costco returns because here's the deal about Costco. Porque te dejan regresar todo and you don't even have to have it in the original packaging. I kind of, I'm gonna go return things that I kind of thought I was gonna use, but I didn't end up using. Let me just show you real quick. These are my Costco returns. Number one, air purifier. It was a great idea when I first got it, but now we hardly ever use it, especially since I ended up getting like a really cool fan that kind of purifies the air at the same time. So this was around $100 that I'm gonna get back. So it kind of feels like I'm getting free money, even though it was money that I had to begin with, but I'm returning it. Number two, this crimper that I got from Costco. It was a really cute idea. Ended up finding out I don't like my hair crimped. It doesn't look cute. It's not really my style, so I'm returning it. Another thing that I bought when we were first renovating the house were this four piece bath accessory kit. I thought we were gonna use it. I don't really wanna make more holes in the walls, so we're returning this. Another one is this eight in one multi-benefit doggy treat. The reason why I'm returning this is because I, I, the dogs like them, but when they chew them, they have manchas. So basically what my dogs do is like they'll pick them up and they'll, they'll go eat them on the couch. As you guys know, my couches are really clear. Like they're like a lighter color. So una vez, no más. So if you want to eat and leave a manchita, never again. I'm returning it. These are my Costco returns for today. Now let's move to what I'm currently working on. No me van a juzgar, eh? Les estoy enseñando mis secretos. I'm showing you. My deepest, darkest secrets, which is my messy bathroom. I hate cleaning the restroom. Literally, I don't know what I hate more, the restroom or mopping. I have no idea, but let me show you. Okay, so this is our restroom. It looks so messy right now, but it's gonna get better, I promise. I never really show my restroom because it's just messy. I'm basically going through these two baskets that I brought from the other house, and I feel like it's really easy to collect things that 
you think are a good idea but then you end up not using especially when it comes to having like a smaller bathroom you guys like our bathroom is not really big so there's not a lot of storage area and yeah so i'm basically getting rid of things that i'm not using that's what i'm working on right now and then we're actually going to clean the bathroom i don't know what it is about cleaning the bathroom that just does not call my attention like it's just i don't know maybe because i grew up having to clean the bathroom at the house it's just not not my thing i don't enjoy it it's not something i enjoy Okay, let me just make sure you're not. Okay, so I cleared out everything in our cabinet. Also, yeah, anyway, I cleared out everything. Oh, is this weird? Do we like this, like, talking to you through the mirror vibes? Okay, anyway, let me not get cheesy. I cleaned out everything. I cleared out um, the mirror, and basically just because, like, little things spill over time, and then they look, like, dirty. So I'm gonna use the Clorox wipes to wipe it. And basically in the cabinet, if it's like I imagine most of you do, we keep everything in here. But what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to divide it by sections. So the three different sections will be um, skincare routine, like nighttime and daytime routine. And that's basically gonna be like my cremas and things like that. Another important section is gonna be Denny's hair stuff because Denny's hair stuff is serious and like literally he loves his hair stuff and um may oh hair things for me which I don't really have that many because I don't like do my hair every day like once I strain it or curl it like that's basically all I'll keep that way we everybody knows like what's what and what goes where so first of all I'm going to start off with Denny's hair things because I want him to know what his things are like I said Denny loves his hair stuff this is his magic combination don't tell him I told you because he's already used to opening this side I'm gonna put his things here this is his hairbrush I think he got it like at the dollar store I don't know why but that's his hairbrush. These are our toothbrushes. We have matching toothbrushes from Costco. I'm gonna put them here. This is the mouthwash that I love to use all the time. I'm gonna put that here for us. This is the floss that I like to use. Let me just tell you, if you're not flossing your teeth, you're gonna end up at the dentist sometime really soon. Toothpaste, we have extra toothpaste down here. I always have to buy the toothpaste in bulk from Costco, number one, because it's more affordable, and number two, you don't run out of toothpaste and you don't have to be like, oh my God, exprimiendo el tubo, even though, till this day, even though we have hella toothpaste down there, we still exprimimos el tubo, o sea, le sacamos todo lo que se pueda. Look how nice and clean that looks, I love it. This is the dry shampoo that I use. This one works really well, I really, really like it. This, I started using, this is a leave-in conditioner that has, has that has castor oil and hemp oil. I got it at Marshall's for $5.99. It was a great deal. I haven't really seen like a significant difference with my hair, but I'm not really that picky when it comes to a leave-in conditioner. Here's the gel that I use. This is the Eco Gel. I got it at Target and this will last me forever because I don't really wear gel. Now we need to do my skincare session. Okay, so this is the oil that I use to remove my makeup at night. Here is my moisturizer. I use the Kiehl's Avocado Eye, cr eye Cream. Here is my Dava Lash, which is the eyelash serum that I use. They only sell it in Mexico. Don't buy it here because it's probably fake. I started using this like patches these star patches that i see all the influencers use when they have pimples okay they lie to us because they don't do anything but i already bought it so i'm going to keep using them 
until I run out of them. Uh, here is my Holy Grail Retin A Retina, which this you can only get in Mexico or you have to have a prescription here in America. This is the sunscreen that I use. I know it's not like the super special fancy one, but it works amazing for me. And I love the fact that I can apply it like a barrita, like I don't actually have to use my hands. Last but not least for my skincare routine, here's a little bit of Vaseline. And basically what I use is I slug under my eyes. So once I put my eye cream on at night, I put a little bit of Vaseline really carefully to make sure that all that product is being absorbed under my eyes, which honestly that has made a really, really 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 big difference because before my under eyes would be really dry and I feel like now they're not I also use it at night on my lips and yeah I love it and I love the fact that it's like a mini container it looks so cute much better what do you guys think look we even have extra space so here's Danny section here's the dental section here's face skincare routine here is brushes Hair stuff for me, more hair stuff, miscellaneous. Here's a better look, look. Beautiful, we love organization. We love knowing where things are. We love cleanliness. So that's the top part. The bottom looks like this. And down here, basically, we just have like extra things like toothpaste, clean stuff, some medicine. And then over here, I have um, just like extra things. I have some lipsticks down there. Now to the not so fun part, which is actually cleaning the bathroom instead of organizing. It only took 80 years, 80 years, pero ya hemos terminado. Ya no me hace falta trapear, which by the way, I'm gonna show you guys a little thing I got from Amazon. No mames, ven eso. Oh my God. You guys, ahorita que estaba limpiando, me dio un chingazo con la puerta, casi lloro, casi lloro, así que casi me da... I almost got a concussion, cancelar el nombre de Jesús. Ya quedó, I'm charging my, my toothbrush, that's why that's there, but otherwise it wouldn't be there. I talked about this on Instagram with you guys, that's my little lint roller before the floor. It picks up every single hair. Hashtag not sponsor, but I'm gonna leave the link for you guys down in the first comment down below because it's amazing. Another thing I wanna link for you guys, it's my toilet cleaner. So instead of having the little esponjita, nomás tiene like those little bristles, it works really, really well. And it's supposed to be cleaner and then you just put it like that on your restroom. Satisfecho con el baño. Ahora, Oh no, qué horror, qué horror. Let's now que enseñar what is a room. Our room is really, really messy right now. I generally don't have the energy to do anymore, but I'm gonna do it anyway because we must. Ay no, esta vida de señora, esta vida de señora. Qué horror, qué horror. But anyway, let me show you. Okay, look, this is a room. I purposely didn't make the bed. Number one, because I wanna tell you guys something. So when I went to Alabama to take care of my dad, being the sweetheart that he is, he wanted to wash the sheets so that I can come home to new sheets. Pero le echó cloro. Les echó cloro. <laughs> Les echó cloro a la cobija. Le echó cloro a la cobija. So, ahora la cobija quedó manchada. So, we need a new one. And look, you guys see the spot right there? Like, you can kind of not see it, but you could see it enough. So, we have to get rid of this cobija. And we, we basically have to get a new one. So, all we're going to do is we're going to rid of, we're going to get rid of that cobija. I'm going to kind of make the bed. Um, <laughs> he's a sweetheart. Like, I love the intent behind it. I don't love the result, but you know. He's a sweetheart. Now he knows. I appreciate the fact that he wanted me to come home to clean sheets. Uh, okay. Vamos a limpiar. A limpiar se ha dicho. 
Honestly, I'm kind of sad that we have to get rid of this this acobija because I really liked it. It was really nice. And more than anything, a quien le gusta comprar cosas nuevas cuando no se tiene que comprar. Today, you guys, after this, honestly, I'm si bien estresada. Um, not for the wedding, actually. Like, I know a lot of people might think, like, because of the wedding. But honestly, look, let me tell you. The wedding, I'm not too stressed out about because our wedding planner is amazing. We're working with Elegancia Events. And if you guys don't know, he is an amazing wedding, well, event planner, period. He, every event he does is absolutely beautiful. When we started planning the wedding, I thought to myself, there's no way we can afford him. Like, his events look so beautiful. I was like, I just know he's probably going to be so expensive. There's absolutely no way. Like, not that he's not worth it. He's absolutely worth it. But... He's so good that I just thought he was going to be like millions of dollars to book. Ni me hice la idea, ni me emocioné. I was like, no, you know what? We're just going to plan this ourselves. It's going to be okay. We're not going to go with the wedding planner, right? At first, I was planning the wedding by myself, if you guys remember. We got engaged in August of 2021. So I was planning the wedding by myself. And I really thought, I really thought I could plan a wedding on my own, girl. It's really hard. If you have planned a wedding by yourself, shout out to you. You are amazing because it's really hard. But more than anything, a lot of things happen in 2021 leading to 2022. We ended up taking the holidays off. We didn't want to plan around the holidays. And then in the beginning of 2021 in February, my grandma passed away and that was really hard. I was like, let's shoot our show with Elegancia. Let's see how much he would be. And let's just see, like if we can afford it, amazing like we'll afford it and if we can then we'll know you know like at least we know but we didn't want to really shoot ourselves down before we actually asked because if you would never ask the answer is always going to be no right away he was like yeah let's work together he gave us numbers we could afford it so we we're like okay cool let's do it the amazing part about luis which luis is the guy who owns elegancia events is not how amazing his events are the amazing part about him, you guys, is that we literally contacted him and we were like, hey, we're actually going to be doing the ceremony before the wedding. We know this is a little bit weird. I'm sure people don't normally do this, but I thought like because the ceremony will probably be a lot smaller. I thought to myself, like we could just do the ceremony without him para no molestarlo, para que no tenga que hacer el trabajo dos veces. And then we'll do the party with him, right? So I was like, let me know what you want to do. Let us know what you think. And you guys, right away, he was like, let's do it. Absolutely. I understand what you're going through. Of course, he hasn't lost his dad. Right away, he was like, yes, absolutely. I love the fact, you guys, that he was really honest with us. And he told us, like, look, I know this is going to be a really hard time. But think about how you're going to feel. I think we should do, like, a legit ceremony where, where like, we decorate the place where it's going to be. And... Then you have like a little special dance with your dad. He's like, because I'm telling you, like, even though it's going to be a small ceremony, you want to have those memories because cancelar el nombre de Jesús. Pero si tu papá llegara a faltar, when you actually have the big party, this little ceremony is going to be what you love and what you feel like super happy with. I already sweeped now it's time to mop okay now if you guys remember I hate mopping I hate it I don't like mopping makes my back hurt it's too much of a workout it never really looks mopped anyway so I actually ended up getting hashtag not sponsored okay I ended up getting this like vacuum mopper I found it on TikTok actually one of you guys tagged me and one of you guys were like oh my god look it's like a vacuum mopper it had such amazing reviews. It was expensive, it was $3.99. So it is cheaper than the Dyson, um, than the Dyson vacuum, pero esta también, it vacuums and it mops at the same time. So last time I kind of used it like really lightly, really fast. 
I like the way it worked. So now we're gonna try it out. To finish the story about Luis, the wedding planner, he was amazing when we talked to him about, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna add water to this while I tell you. When we talked to him about moving the ceremony, he actually told us, he was like, I think you guys should just do the ceremony and have a little party at the same time because I'm telling you, he's like, once you have, like once your dad is at that party, you're not gonna wanna have another party. Like, especially if like something happens to your dad. So, tiene mucha razón. So we are gonna have a little party. It's only gonna be 50 to 60 people there. So far, like 55 people are confirmed. I'm just waiting on some people to confirm that they're gonna be able to come. Obviamente, because we went from having a huge party to now having a really small party, not everybody who we wanted to be there was is gonna be able to attend. Number one, because it's like we only have two weeks to do this. And number two, the reality of it is, my dad can really be there and like entertain so many people. And I know that he was nervous. And another thing is like, if you guys have thought about why we haven't shown him stuff he doesn't feel his best self right now porque, o sea, imagínate el ir de going from being able to do anything and everything you ever wanted like being a full functioning adult to all of a sudden not being able to do things for yourself and needing help with like really minor things i think it's like something that none of us would ever be ready for especially my dad being so young i feel better at the fact that we're not going to have a lot of people there because Obviamente that we have our closest friends and our family, but we, my my dad doesn't feel comfortable being seen, which is why we haven't shown him. And I feel 100% okay with that being our wedding. And Danny also feels okay with it. When I told Luis, I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like, you're gonna make like a little wedding happen like so fast. He was like, no te preocupes por nada, literal. No pienses en nada. Don't worry about anything. I'm gonna take care of everything. I just need you to show up the day of and have fun and enjoy your dad and enjoy the fact that you're getting married. I literally could not recommend him more. I love him. I hope all of you guys book him for your parties because not only is he amazing at what he does and making the events happen, he also has a huge heart and I'm so grateful that we went with him. I do wanna give the biggest shout out to Luis. Thank you so much for doing this for us. I cannot wait for you guys to see how beautiful he makes everything look. Definitely go follow him and show him some love. Now, let's mop, girl. I'm gonna add some music for you. I'm still kinda getting used to using this. I'm just gonna do the kitchen, living room, and room for now, or in the restroom. I'm not gonna do that area over there, so don't make full skin. So turn it on, you just flip it back, and then you start mopping. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot, I had special shoes for this. Oh my gosh, sorry, the dogs think I'm talking to them. Oh, wait, I should put these on top of my shoes, huh? Because si no se me van a mojar los zapatos. I'm gonna put our special mopping covers on our shoes. Oh my God, tell me why I'm so patona que no me van a quedar. Got my special mopping shoes on. Ahora sí, atrapearse de dicho. That's when you know you're like a true señora. Pero, he aquí, the dirty water. Ew! Oh my gosh! Okay, so, trapié la cocina, la sala, my room, and the restroom. It probably took me less than 10 minutes, which is amazing. The floor looks clean. There was some spots that I was like, oh, if I had a real trapeador, I could really get this, but... The convenience of this outweighs that because I could just generally go by real quick in those hard spots. Other than that, the floor looks pretty good. Oh my God, do you guys wanna see the mugre, 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 mugre. Okay, here comes the good part. We're gonna do a little pouring moment. Okay, so this is apparently self-cleaning, 
Which, look at all that hair. Yo ya había barrido. I had already, acababa de barrer, and that's crazy how much hair there's still there. Of course, I shed a lot. Sina sheds a lot. If you have like a cat or a short haired dog, then you'll probably run into this as well. You're supposed to clean it after every use, and it'll, it's supposed to also be self cleaning. Uh, when you put it back on its charging station, which by the way, it is cordless. This alone is all the hair I picked up. Is this gross? Sorry if this is gross. This is Casas de la Vida Real as hell, look. Oh my God, my house was so mugrosa. To clean the whole house, you would probably need to clean it out and refill, or you would need to refill it twice because I did run out of water with just the kitchen, living room, and my room, in our room, I mean. So, wow, that was, Crazy. I'm gonna link it down for you guys so you guys can go see the reviews. It's $3.99, so it is a little bit expensive. Pero si no te gusta trapear, just because I hate mopping. If you don't like, if you don't mind mopping, then it might not be as much of a big deal to you. But if you hate mopping as much as I do, girl, go get you this. 